Hello, and welcome to the April installment of Construction Junction, presented to you by MSU Infrastructure Planning and Facilities. If you have any comments or questions concerning this presentation, or have suggestions on how we might improve, please let us know via the feedback box on the Construction Junction webpage located at the address on the screen. We thank you in advance for helping us improve your experience. The agenda for the April presentation will begin with updates on which projects are going to the next two Board of Trustees meetings. We will then have an overview of the various road, classroom, and construction projects scheduled for this summer. We will then have updates on the following projects. Solar Array Carport Installations, 1855 Place, Breslin Student Event Center Facility Upgrades, and Spartan Stadium South End Zone Addition. Next will be a wrap-up of the new substation project. Lastly, we will have new project presentations on the ISTEC facility, Wilson Road Extension, and seat replacement at Wharton Center. Beginning with the April BOT meeting, the projects going to the board will be, for Step 2, Authorization to Proceed, Engineering Research Complex Addition and Renovation, and Wells Hall Induction Unit Replacement. And for Step 3, Bid and Contract Award, Parking Lot 92 Expansion and Reconstruction, Wharton Center Roof Replacement, and Trowbridge Road Repaving. Moving on to the June BOT meeting, the projects going to the board will include, for Step 2, Authorization to Proceed, Wilson Road Extension. We begin this month's presentation with an overview of summer road and parking lot construction projects, beginning with road milling and repaving projects. Milling and repaving of road sections is necessary, as the asphalt conditions are to a point where safety is becoming a concern, and the pavement conditions will not last through another snow season. Work will begin sometime in mid-May and will last through early June. Impacts to the campus community will include minor traffic delays. However, traffic flow will be maintained. Temporary closure of parking lot access during paving operations in those areas. IPF will work closely with the contractor to minimize inconvenience to campus customers. If weather conditions do not allow for paving work to be completed, milled roads will be temporarily reopened to traffic until paving can resume. Here you see an overview map of those road sections that will be repaved during the period from mid-May through early June. Next we have an overview of summer parking lot restriping projects. Painting of parking lot stripes are scheduled on a three-year rotation to ensure that markings remain clearly visible to campus customers. Painting is scheduled in two-week time periods to allow for striping to take place in smaller sections and to allow for possible weather delays. Parking areas that are being painted are generally offline for two to three hours, but it may take longer due to weather conditions that may delay paint drying. Non-affected parking spaces will be left available whenever possible during restriping. Campus customers are asked to not move cones or to parking spaces being painted or that have recently been painted to allow crews to work more efficiently and quickly. Here is a graphic showing the parking areas that are scheduled for restriping during the period from May 30th to June 9th. The area scheduled for restriping during the period of May 30th through July 21st. The area scheduled for striping during the period of June 12th through June 23rd. The area scheduled for restriping during the period of June 26th through July 7th. And finally, the areas that are scheduled for restriping during the period of July 10th through July 21st. If you have questions or concerns about any of the summer repaving or lot restriping projects, contact the project manager, Matt Fahrenbach. We next have information on summer classroom renovation and remodeling projects. Beginning in early May, after classes have completed, the following classrooms will undergo construction. To provide technology-related modifications, rooms in Berkey and Wells Hall. To perform upgrades to the HVAC systems, rooms in Farrell, Giltner, and McDonnell Halls, and for extensive renovations, rooms in Bessie, Case Hall, Music Building, and the Veterinary Medical Center. If you have questions or concerns about any of the summer classroom renovation and remodeling projects, please contact Design Representative Dan Klan. We now have an overview of the various construction projects scheduled for this summer. First is the project to reconstruct parking lot 63 at the Breslin Center. This project will include full depth replacement of both the east and west portions of Lot 63, expansion of the parking count by 80 spaces, and conversion of the lot to pay-by-plate kiosks. Impacts to the campus community will include lot closure during the entirety of the project, 
and temporary lane closures on both Shaw Lane and Harrison Road. Construction is slated to begin in June and is scheduled for completion sometime in August. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this project, contact the construction representative, Jason Van Zee. Next is a project to install permanent field lighting at Spartan Stadium. This project will include installation of permanent LED field lighting, which will meet NCAA National Championship broadcast lighting levels and will be fully controllable. Impacts to the campus community will include minimal pedestrian detouring around the facility and potential single lane closure of the drive to the service garage. Prep work for the construction began in February and the fixtures are scheduled to be operational by July. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this project, contact the construction representative, Jason Van Zee. Next is the project to replace the field hockey playing surface at the Ralph Young track. This project will include replacement of the artificial turf, underlayment, and irrigation system, and replacement or restoration of those portions of the track impacted by construction. Impacts will be minimal and will include minor pedestrian detours around the north side of the track. Construction is scheduled to begin on May 15th and is expected to be complete by June 27th. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this project, contact the design representative, Tressa Wall. Next is the project to add an addition to the engineering research complex. This project will include conversion of space in the ERC to labs and building of an office addition, upgrade of the existing electrical service, and consolidation of chillers. Impacts to the campus community will include increased traffic in and around the ERC, parking lot 97, and Woodlot Drive. The project is slated to begin this month and should be ready for occupancy sometime by the end of the year. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this project, contact the construction representative, Ken Gottschalk. Next is the project to renovate and reconstruct room E100 in the Veterinary Medical Center. This project will include comprehensive renovation of Lecture Hall E100 to include fixtures, technology, and furniture, renovation of the adjacent corridor, and addition of a single-use restroom and quiet study space. Impacts to the campus community will include increased construction traffic in and around the west side of the building and noise and dust typical of a demolition project. Construction is slated to begin on May 8th with completion by August 16th. If you have any questions or concern regarding this project, contact construction representative Ken Gottschalk. Next is the project to renovate the first and second floors of Bessie Hall. This project will include comprehensive renovation of the first and second floor instructional spaces, including 11 classrooms and one lecture hall, renovation of adjacent corridors, and the addition of a single-use restroom, quiet study, and testing spaces. Impacts to the campus community will be limited to adjacent academic and academic support functions and will be fully coordinated with building occupants. Construction is slated to begin on May 8th and is scheduled for completion by August 16th. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this project, contact the construction representative, Matt Postma. Next is a project to replace HVAC induction units in Wells Hall building sections C and D. This project will include replacement of the aging induction heating and cooling units throughout Wells Hall C and D. Impacts to building occupants will include occupation of each faculty office within the C wing by construction crews for a period of two to five days. Actual dates will be coordinated between the departments and the contractor. Construction is slated to begin on May 8th and is scheduled for completion by the end of the year. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this project, contact the construction representative, Todd Wilson. Next is the project to replace roof sections at the Wharton Center for Performing Arts. This project will include removal and replacement of existing conventional roofs, including an IRMA style roof over the Great Hall stage. Impacts to the campus community will include roofing odors inside of the facility, which should be alleviated by the installation of temporary charcoal filters, closure of the loading dock for approximately one month, which will require relocation of some parking, and sidewalk closures between the FRIB and Wharton Center for approximately one month. The facility will remain open during construction and will be coordinated to avoid major performances. Construction is scheduled to begin on June 26th and will be complete by September 22nd. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this project, contact the construction representative, Jessica Colt. Next is the project to repave Trowbridge Road between Harrison Road and the Oyer Speech and Hearing Facility. 
This project will include milling and resurfacing of both eastbound and westbound Trowbridge Road between Harrison Road and the Oyer Speech and Hearing parking lot. Impacts to the campus community will include pedestrian and vehicular recirculation. However, it is planned to keep at least one lane open in each direction to avoid detours. Construction is slated to begin on June 5th and is scheduled to be complete by July 21st. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this project, contact the project representative, Tressa Wall. Finally is the project to reconstruct and expand parking lot 92. This project will include full reconstruction and expansion of the lot to provide additional capacity, update the lot to current ADA and MSU construction standards, and to reduce maintenance costs. Impacts to the campus community will include closure of the lot for the duration of the project. Construction is slated to begin on May 8th and should be completed by July 28th. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this project, contact the construction representative, Chris Barnes. We now have updates on major ongoing projects, beginning with the Solar Array Carport Project. This project will affect several parking lots throughout South Campus. This project is necessary to address the increasing power demands of a growing campus, the EFRB facility, and other research entities, and to maintain the reliability and cost-effectiveness of MSU's power supply. The project will provide financial benefit to MSU by allowing purchase of power at a fixed price for the next 25 years. The project will also advance the energy transition plan's goals of improving the environment, investing in a sustainable energy research, and development and positioning of MSU as a leader in the realm of sustainable energy. The university has entered into a long-term power purchase agreement with Innovative Solar for renewable energy that will be generated by the construction of large-scale solar array carports at parking lots 83, 89, 91, 92, and 100. MSU will perform the work required to connect the array output to the existing grid. Impacts to the campus community will include temporary reduction in parking lot availability during construction. However, no parking places will be eliminated. Construction is being coordinated to minimize interference during the 2017-18 football season. Once complete, the carports will provide vehicles with partial protection from the elements. Construction began this last month and is scheduled for completion by the end of this year. Here you see an artist rendering of the completed carport structures at the commuter parking lot and another street level view of the completed solar arrays. Installations of the pilings for attachment of the carport structures to the existing lot surface has begun and a view of some of the completed piling installations. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Solar Array Carport Project can be directed to the construction representative, Chris Barnes. Next, we have an update on the 1855 Place Project. This project is located in the Northwest Residential Mixed-Use Districts at the former site of the Michigan State Police Post. Accomplishments during the month of March include substantial completion of the single student townhome units. There are no planned additional impacts beyond those normal for construction project of this nature. Exterior work on the mixed-use structure continues, along with masonry work on the office tower portion. Here you see some of the decorative masonry work on the office structure and some of the interior decorative elements. Interior framing work continues in the office and mixed-use structures, as well as drywall installation. Roofing is progressing on the student apartment unit end caps. For those of you who would like to follow the progress of construction on this project, please check out the live webcam site at the address on the screen. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the 1855 Place project can be directed to the project representative, Andy Linebaugh. Next, we have an update on the work that is being done as part of the Breslin Student Event Center Facility Upgrades Project. The Breslin Center is located in the Athletic and Recreation District. Accomplishments during the month of March included beginning demolition of quads 2 and 3 on the southwest and southeast corners of the facility and preparation of the electric chillers and piping for startup and commissioning. Impacts expected during the month of April will include closure of the southeast and southwest gates of the facility along with reduction of the southern concourse area. Here you see the project construction plan for the period of March 26 through May 1st, including those areas of the facility that will be offline. 
Interior work on the Hall of History edition continues, including installation of the HVAC components. Rough-in of the plumbing fixtures in the new concourse restroom continues. And here you see shots of the exterior of the Hall of History edition. For those of you who would like to follow the progress of construction on this project, please check out the live webcam site at the address on the screen. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Breslin Center Facility Upgrades Project can be directed to the construction representative, Jason Van Zee. Next, we have an update on the South End Zone Edition at Spartan Stadium. Spartan Stadium is located in the Athletic and Recreation District. Accomplishments during the month of March included completion of the exterior masonry walls, the underground plumbing and electrical utilities, as well as the concrete slabs. Installation of the prefabricated plumbing carriers and piping is underway. Impacts expected during the month of April will include restriction of access to the south of the stadium, pedestrian detours around the construction site, and temporary reduction in parking capacity in Lot 79. Here you see a shot of the erection of the exterior walls and a shot of the completed walls. Another shot of the completed walls, this time from the southwest. A view of the concrete slab installation and a view of the completed slabs. Plumbing unit installation is currently underway. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the South End Zone Edition project can be directed to the construction representative, Jason Van Zee. We next have a wrap up of completed projects, highlighting the installation of the new electric utility substations. This project is located in the service district in the facility of the TB Simon Power Plant. This project was necessary to provide increased electrical power capacity and delivery reliability to the FRIB Power Plant and the MSU campus. The project consisted of three key elements, a 138 kilovolt transmission line from the METC line to the power plant, installation of a larger capacity substation at the power plant, and installation of a substation along the METC line. Construction on this project began in January of 2016 and was substantially completed last month. Here you see the new green switch station along the METC line. Restoration work on those areas affected by construction is in its final stages. Here is a shot of the new Spartan substation installation and a view of the completed Spartan substation facility. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the utility substation upgrade project can be directed to the construction representative, Chris Barnes. Lastly, we have presentations on future projects starting with the construction of the new Interdisciplinary Science and Technology Building. The project site is located in the South Academic District. This new facility will be part of MSU's Strategic Academic Development Initiative and will provide modern teaching and interdisciplinary research space necessary to support growth in STEM-related fields and focus on research, which is necessary to support the university's investment in the Global Impact Initiative to recruit more than 100 new faculty investigators. The location of this structure, adjacent to other core research facilities, will continue the strategic development of a neighborhood of scientific research in the biomedical and biological sciences. The scope of the project will include construction of a six-story structure of approximately 160,000 gross square feet, which will include wet bench labs, computational research space, offices, collaborative space, and a vivarium. Site preparation will begin on May 1st with construction beginning in June and scheduled completion by August of 2019. Impacts to the campus community will include lane closures, pedestrian detours, parking reduction, construction traffic, and noise and dust typical of a project of this nature. Replacement of parking displaced by the new structure is planned to the north and east of Clinical Center A. Interior spaces made available as a result of a consolidation of teaching labs will be repurposed to accommodate additional research space. Here is an aerial view rendering of the new facility, a rendering of the northwest facade, a view of the northeast facade, 
and finally a rendering of the north facade in the evening. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the ISTEC facility project can be directed to the design representative, Dick Temple. Next, we have a presentation on the project to extend Wilson Road. This project is located in the East Residential District. This project is necessary as there is currently only one intersection connecting campus with Hagedorn Road north of Service Road. This situation creates added vehicular traffic through a busy pedestrian and bicycling area. The current intersection also creates traffic complications as it is not fully coordinated with existing railroad crossing. Also, the lack of traffic signals along Shaw Lane east of Farm Lane creates some accessibility concerns. And the condition of Fee and Wilson Roads along with adjacent parking lots are in poor condition and require replacement. The scope of the project will include reconfiguration and reconstruction of Wilson Road, Fee Road, and parking lots 30 and 32, installation of a new traffic light intersection at Hagedorn Road, which will be integrated with nearby railroad signals, a new traffic light at the intersection of Shaw Lane and current Wilson Road, improved water distribution in the region, safety improvements for vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists, and improved ADA crossings and compliances. Impacts to the campus community will include updating of campus addresses for affected buildings, lots, tennis courts, and a bus stop, temporary reduction in parking availability during construction. All closures will be phased and employee parking will be made available in nearby lot 100. Construction is scheduled to begin in March of 2018 with completion by October of that year. Here is an aerial view of the site as it currently exists and a street view of current parking areas, and an example of existing stairs that will be eliminated to improve accessibility. The proposed site plan shows the extension of Wilson Road along with the new intersection at Hagedorn Road. Another graphic showing specific road and parking areas affected by construction, and a graphic of the planned new lighted intersection at Shaw Lane. Here are graphics showing examples of planned roadway and sidewalk construction. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Wilson Road Extension project can be directed to the design representative, Dave Wilbur. Finally, we have an overview of the project to replace seating at the Wharton Center. The Wharton Center is located in the Central Academic District. This project is necessary as there are extensive failures in the current seating in the theater spaces, which have been confirmed in a recent survey of patrons. The scope of the project will include replacement of 2,401 seats in the Great Hall and 585 seats in the Passant Theater. Impacts to the campus community will include coordinating of construction around performance schedules to minimize disruption to the facility. Seats will be ordered in October of this year Seat replacement in the Passant Theater will begin in May of 2018 and in the Great Hall between July 30th and September 7th of 2018. Here you see a view of the exterior of Wharton Center, a shot of the interior of the Passant Theater, and a view of the Great Hall seating. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Wharton Center seat replacement project can be directed to the construction representative, Jessica Kolb. This concludes the April Construction Junction presentation. We encourage you to visit the Infrastructure Planning and Facilities website at www.ipf.msu.edu. There you will find information on construction and maintenance alerts, detour information, construction junction information, project and contact information. There are also a number of other IPF resources available, including listservs that you can subscribe to to keep up to date with various IPF projects and events. Stay connected with IPF by social media. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Watch our videos on YouTube. And follow us on Instagram. Construction Junction presentations will be made available on the CJ website beginning the 7th of each month. We thank you for taking the time to check us out, and we hope you'll visit again.